is quite um, an honorable experience to be here today, and I thank you for your time. The um, purpose of the gathering today is to just share a few things um, about South Africa, the destination, in terms of arrivals, in terms of our focus, what are we going to do in the new year. We're going to talk about our roadshow, as you know, that is happening next door. Um, we will talk about the films that are being shot in South Africa, the celebrities that are coming here. Um, what we also thought we would talk about is the collaboration between South African tourism and the consular services uh, in terms of immigration and maybe just give an insight into our the hosting we had with the Prime Minister of India and the President of South Africa and what that meant for South African tourism and what that means for the India relationships from the tourism perspective. So this has been a very interesting year for us. <clears throat> um, we've seen a huge um, competition in the marketplace um, from a tourism arrival perspective. South African tourism has seen as a hike and an increase in tourism spend. It is up by 20%, which then means for us that um, the quality of the Indian traveler has literally kind of increased. It means the Indian traveler is spending more money, is also spending um, in, in a very geographically spread way, so the money is spent in South Africa. Also, from an arrivals perspective, November saw a insurge of 25% 25 25 increase. We moved from 2017 7, 7, from 7,400 to 9,700. That was a plus minus 20% increase in arrivals. Um, and we are hopeful. We are very hopeful. What do we want to achieve as South African tourism? We definitely want to hit the century. Century, obviously, as you all know, is cricket. We want to surpass the 100,000 mark. Is it possible? Absolutely. How is it possible? Continuous engagement with the media strategic engagement with travel trade and obviously this leads us then to the next topic 